my uh, honest question. Uh, you probably have a lot of uh, conversation with your Ukrainian colleague. And uh, what does he think? When uh, the conflict with, will be stopped? When we can be, when we can breathe easier than now? So maybe he has some forecasts. So maybe you have some information. It seems that uh, Russia is prepared for a very prolonged war. And it's like you say, uh, this has, uh, of course, um, this has consequences in Europe and in the immediate vicinity. Well, um, Ukraine has prepared a so-called peace formula, uh, which has 10 points. But I see my personal view that counteroffensive is uh, not so uh, is not so successful as we expected now. So uh, there is no uh, there is no the question about politics. It's a question about reality. Yes. Uh, well, I, I hear what you are saying, and unfortunately, the counteroffensive of Ukraine has so far uh, not advanced very very quickly, and. Uh, it's them who can also decide, of course, um, whether there is uh, uh, or what there is to negotiate about coming to territory or whichever item there might be on the list. Yes, I know. I, I had a meeting uh, with my, uh, my ambassador, uh, ambassador of Ukraine uh, last week, and he complained uh, on Finland because of uh, supplying of F-18 and he has asked me so uh, will it any will it be any chance that Finland could supply F-18 in future? Yes, um, we are supplying Ukraine with uh, as much um, defensive and also military material uh, as much as we can it has to be said that Finland also is a border nation to Russia. And uh, in the past, we have been in the place where we have had to defend our own country against back then Soviet Union, uh, so Russia. Um, we have always invested very heavily into our own, de own defense due to the fact that, that we live close to this um, unpredictable and uh, sometimes aggressive neighbor. So. So therefore, we have one of the strongest armies uh, in Europe, very strong military materials as well. And we are happy to contribute to Ukraine um, for as long as it's needed. And now we can see that in Europe, not may, well, not all of the European countries have traditionally invested as much into defense or military equipment. And um, some countries struggle with, uh, with aiding Ukraine on this front. What comes to the F-18s, uh, some of the Nordic countries, we are, uh, where um, Denmark and Sweden have expressed their, their willingness to to um, send Ukraine uh, some, some of their fighter jets. Um, probably it will take some months, if not even longer, for, for those to be delivered. Uh, unfortunately, Finland is currently not in the place where we can deliver fighter jets because we have to, well, also, as a NATO obligation, we need to we, we need to defend our own border. We have one point well one thousand three hundred kilometers um, of of a border with Russia, uh, so it, it takes a lot from us to to defend that. So um, maybe in the future, let's see. Finland has been for a very long time uh, cooperating very closely with NATO, uh, also increasing the partner. Uh, very, very, or strengthening the partnership very significantly over the course of the past 10 years. Now that we joined NATO, it's not really a significant change of what the, what the situation was before. Our military was almost 100% interop, 100 interoperable with NATO and uh, our political willingness uh, was very strong. Yes, I agree, because uh, now I see the problem and threat from Poland side, because they demanded to uh, to place 
nuclear weapon from uh, from the US on their territory and it also the big threat in uh, the conflict that also makes escalation uh, bigger and bigger so uh, my 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 question so do i hope that you don't have such a plans Well, uh, currently it's even illegal in Finland to store any nuclear weapons in Finland and it's probably not in our interest, at least not in the immediate future. But what has to be said for Poland as well, uh, Poland, of course, is not threatening anybody with those weapons. Uh, the, the, it's, it's defensive architecture um, against Russia and mostly what comes to uh, nuclear equipment uh the most important thing is that it's used for deterring my last question i know that your ministry promised to stop humanitarian aid to africa and redirect resources in favor of ukraine it is true and so how far is it in your opinion because of the very severe um, situation in in finland in the economy and in the public finances We had to do some spending cuts, and some of those spending cuts are also directed towards humanitarian aid. Uh, and many African countries are receivers of our humanitarian aid.